Hi, so it looks like you made it. That is terrific. Um, in the introduction, I explained how calories in and calories out only told part of the story. Let me explain that a little bit more. The uh, Pennington Research Center did a study over two years where they found that 90% of the people that were using a calorie-restricted diet gained the weight back, and over a, and uh, and most of those people lost a third of their lean uh, body mass. So that's muscles and and bone. What happens when you lose lean muscle mass is that your metabolism decreases. So when you do go off that calorie-restricted diet, now the unbalance is even greater, and, and a lot of people find that they end up gaining more weight than they even lost. Another study was done at the University of San Antonio in Texas, and what they did there was very cruel. They took away people's drinking water and they replaced it with uh, zero-calorie diet soda. Now, you would think that if you replace zero-calorie water with zero-calorie soda, then there wouldn't be any net change in calories, so there wouldn't be no weight change. But what happened there is 75% of those participants gained fat. So, if it's not calories in, not calories out, what explains this? Well, in, in large part, it has to do with two hormones that are in your body, uh, one being the villain, cortisol, and one being the hero, human growth hormone. So, when your body is inflamed, when your immune system is, uh, is it's just firing on all cylinders because you've got so, so much inflammation in your body, what happens is cortisol is released. Now, what cortisol does is it causes uh, your body to burn muscle to be used as fuel, causes your body to store fat, and it uh, removes nutrients from your bones, giving you less uh, bone density. Now, if you're able to decrease uh, the stressors on your body that are inflaming uh, your immune system, and, and some of those stressors include uh, poor nutrition, toxins, uh, just a bunch of stressors that you have on your body, emotional stress, uh, physical stress, uh, mental stress, um, injury, there's a lack of sleep, there's a whole bunch of things that will cause your immune system to go hyperactive. And with the hyperactive immune system comes the release of cortisol. So what we need to do is we need to get our immune system down, just turn along nice and smooth and cool, and so that our body, our anterior, anterior pituitary gland, can release human growth hormone. Now, if cortisol is the villain, then human growth hormone, or HGH, is definitely the hero. What HGH does is, one, it causes uh, your body to burn fat. That's good. It causes your body to build lean muscle. That's good. And it also strengthens your bones. So we want to do things that uh, will increase your human growth hormone and decrease your, your cortisol production. So that's our goal. We could, and we find if we can do that, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's still calories in, calories out is still a component and nutrition is a big part of uh, your body's immune response. So we want to have good nutrition, but it's just, it's, it's complicated. So let me, uh, let me end with that now. It's uh, we're going three and a half minutes. So let me end with that now. And then tomorrow I'll talk to you more specifically about what we can do to maximize our human growth hormone and minimize the cortisol. All right, sound good? Talk to you later.